Welcome back to The Lost Digit. Today I'm going to show you how I use my OBD Link MX Plus to code my F87 M2 competition. And what I want to do here is show you where it plugs in. So it's under the driver's side on the left side. And you can just plug it in, make sure that the light's on. And then you turn the car on. On the newer ones, you have to push it three times. But on this one, it seems like you just have to have it on ignition on mode. So that's when everything kind of turns on, but the engine is still off. And then you probably want to turn the AC off just to conserve battery. When you open the app, you want to make sure that you've already connected to the device via Bluetooth and then select the correct vehicle. So once you do that, it reads all of the control units and then it shows you the available options for your vehicle. So for me, the first thing I want to do is turn off the active sound design. So that's the pumped in audio through the speakers. So all I want to hear is actual engine and exhaust noise, not anything digital. Once you do that and you select what you want, you can click start coding. And then this will take anywhere between 30 seconds and two minutes, depending on the module. Uh, but I fast forwarded it just to make it go faster. The next thing is in the head unit, there's something really cool here that's full screen CarPlay. And this is only available on certain ones, so you have to check and it tells you what to check, but mine was compatible and I'll show you what that looks like after. So I coded that. And then the last thing I wanted to do was in the front electronic module, and that's to enable the opening and closing of the mirrors every time you lock and unlock the car. So now when I lock my car, the mirrors automatically close and that in newer BMWs is an option that you can set without having to code it. So once I selected that and put the options to active for um, convenient and automatically, just to make sure that in all scenarios I open and close them, I coded it and then wanted to test the features. So immediately the CarPlay was full screen as you can see here and it looks really good. And in the summary mode, it looks even better now. So it uses the entire screen and the car looks and feels more modern. It's amazing how all you have to do is just change one setting and then this works. And now testing the mirrors when you lock it, they automatically close. So good luck and let me know if you have any questions.